Hey guys, welcome back. We got more Ramstein today and that means I'm excited. I know I've loved our journey with them at first. I was like not entirely sure about it because I feel like it was a really cool live experience, but it was a little bit intense. And I was like, I don't really know if this is for me, but the it's more we've intense is putting it lightly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, like I said, visually it was really cool, but I was just like, Whoa, it's a lot. And then as we've continued down the journey with them, I've just to, they can love them more and more every time. Yeah. I mean, I love Duhas. That was the first one that we yeah. did. Uh, we went out on a, on a limb and we we're like, okay, let's check it out. You know, we're open to checking out new music and we did Duhas first, but I was blown, blown away visually. Yeah. Right. In that one, I was like, wow, that's an outstanding performance. They got the pyrotechnics in there. Yeah. It was wild. And then we did Engel, which again was a great performance. Yeah, giant wings. <laughs> yeah. That was wild. I can't even remember how much they weighed. It was definitely over a hundred pounds. Right. Yeah. And that was, you know, kind of creepy, scary feel to it. Um, but I think in those two performances, we didn't get to appreciate their musical capabilities as yeah. much. It's more of a visual. Yeah. And you know, live performances, the audio quality is not going to be the same. You know, you get to you know tune things up in the studio anyway. So we've continued down our rabbit hole of Rammstein and it's been great. Yeah. And, um, so we did, uh, uh, Dicke Titten. I don't know if I said that correctly. I'm still working on my German. That one here, definitely guys. had the uh, comedic element there. Yeah, that was hilarious. And uh, we did Deutschland. Yeah, that one was really cool creatively. And like the production on that, I was like. The production on all of them has been outstanding. Yes. And um, that one obviously is about Germany, mm -hmm. right? It's just the heritage uh, of the group. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen on this one because we got a German group with the song title America. And Maybe it's um, their perspective on America. Well, yeah, I think that's what we we're reading about is that it's their perspective on, on America's influence on the world. So yeah. I'm interested to see what that actually is yeah, in their got a, eyes. Got a little visual here of uh, the moon. It looks like an uh, astronaut. So. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the other one that we did, I think was the most recent one, actually, was Zeit. Hmm. And that was time. And yeah, that, was that one was cool interesting too. Video as well. So yeah. that's our catalog of Rammstein, guys. It's been great to get to know them more. And I've loved every video that we've done from them. So I'm excited to check this one out. Me too. Do you have any other recommendations of where you want us to go? It seems like they got a huge catalog on YouTube. So uh, I think we're going to be continuing down this rabbit hole yeah, for a while. And uh, excuse us if we don't pick up any of the German uh, or any of the storytelling or any of the lyrics. Um, you know, we try our best. But yeah. uh, for we don't speak German, so. <laughs> yeah, first time listen, you know, it's a little more difficult. But we also like to go to the original Ramstein video so they get our viewership. And yes. We use their video and all that. They benefit from the. I, yeah, I know you guys have said there are other videos that they do, the lyric covers on there, but we like to go to the originals first. We can always check out the lyric videos for, for the songs after. Anyways, I'm sure you're done with the rambling from us. I want to hear what Ramstein has to say about America. Before we do, what do we have to ask him, Sam? Pop quiz question, which is what year was this song released? If you know that, drop it down low. Don't worry if you don't, because we'll tell you at the end of the video. Yeah. Ready? I am. Let's do it. Let's roll. We're all living in America, America. It's wonderful. We're all living in America, America, America. We're all.
All right, so I get the gist of the song. I think I believe, you know, it's the American influence in not the greatest way worldwide. It's affecting everybody. But yeah. I want to pause here and look up what the lyrics were saying. All right, got those lyrics up? Yes. Okay, so we're all living in America, self explanatory. Yeah. America is wonderful. Then past the chorus, it goes into. When there is dancing, I want to lead. Even if you are spinning alone, let us control you a little. I'll show you how to do it properly. We form a lovely dance. Freedom plays on all violins. Music comes from the White House. Hmm. And Mickey Mouse stands in front of Paris. We're all living in America. America is wonderful. I know the steps that are very helpful and will protect you from missteps. And whoever doesn't want to dance at the end, Don't know yet that he has to dance. We form a lovely dance. I will show you the direction. Santa Claus is coming to Africa. And in front of Paris stands Mickey Mouse. We're all living in America. America is wonderful. Hmm. Coca-Cola. I don't know if we've gotten this far yet, but Coca-Cola, Wonder Bra. This is not Uh, a love song. I don't know if we've got that far yet. But anyways, that's that's, that's an interesting summary. Um, It definitely adds more uh, depth to... The video is great, right? The video is kind of portraying yeah. what's going on well. well. You get the idea with like, you know, these African tribes sitting, eating delivered pizza or like people in what I think was somewhere in the Middle East or maybe India eating like burgers yes. with like takeout cups, right? Yeah. And I think it's interesting the frequency, the use of the word dance. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe the translation isn't 100% accurate, but the idea of like the dance of the world, like it's the world is marching to the beat of America. Yeah. Right. And also they're referencing kind of whether people like, like it or not, Mm -hmm. this is the way it's going to go because they're kind of pulling all the strings and you have the American influence of Mickey mouse is standing in front of Paris. And you know, it's like everywhere you go, you cannot get away from American influence because it's so vast and widespread. So I think that was the gist and I got that, but yeah. from hearing some of the lyrics, it's um, it solidifies that a little solidifies bit. it and adds a layer of poetry to it. I mean, yeah. for us, obviously listening to it in German, you know, it's hard to take in the depth, like I said, from the lyrics, but yep. uh, the reason why I wanted to look it up is because from everything that we've done, it seems like there is a lot more than the surface level uh, from their videos, from their music, from their lyrics. They really have a lot of depth to it. And, uh, you know, I think it can easily be misconstrued to, even when we did um, Dicke Titten, that one, right? Like, on the, it was comedic and it was funny, but there was the depth to it that it was th- this blind guy talking about all this stuff, mm-hmm. right? And there behind the lyrics within that there was much more meaning to it so um that's why i kind of wanted to pull up the lyrics and see specifically yeah, what they were talking about and i didn't know what to expect because sometimes they as they started singing in english here sometimes they have english sometimes they have yeah. ca- closed captions that are yeah. english sometimes so it's like a blend yeah anyways what are your thoughts Sam? yeah i mean i kind of got the same idea that you did and like you said reading the lyrics like and talking about how like it's all controlled by the white house like just kind of solidifies that idea mm-hmm. um i also get like how ha- find it funny this like visual of them on the moon like they're all just like jamming out on the moon yeah um but also right that's like to say that like you know america went to the moon first and that's like you know america controls everything because they're the first ones to do things and have all the control in the world uh but yeah i think that for me it's like sometimes a little bit challenging not having the lyrics to take it in as a whole but i do find that the visuals in this like really do tell the story very well so yeah which has been the case for their production value on most of the videos yeah. but anyway so let's keep it going see what we're going to do in live last two minutes.
That was cool. That was interesting at the end there. I'm not sure if they're alluding to the moon landing potentially being a staged event. Yeah, that's what I got there as well. As, uh, people have gone back and forth on for the past 55 years. Yeah, like, uh, did that actually happen <laughs> or was it just videotape? Well, I mean, I think it goes alongside of what they were discussing in the in the song and the video in that the American influence, right? And part of that influence, as you alluded to, was landing on the moon and being the first ones to do it, yep. portraying American superiority and the them being a superpower so yep. you know if you were to believe in the idea that this was potentially a staged event then that would add to that superpower and that allure of this buildup of everybody wants to be a part of america yeah. and do american things and, and the control they have yeah and so but you know from a government perspective you know if you wanted to create propaganda which as they as we know they do um that would be a great way to do it to be you know staging a moon landing right so yeah um that's something I go back and forth on quite frequently. I know there's a lot of evidence that says that, yeah, of course they went to the moon, but at the same time, it's like, you know, one of my things is that I always come back to is why haven't they been back in you yeah. know, 55 years or yeah. 50 years now. Right. So, um, so I mean, uh, you know, not to get hung up on that too much, but, uh, that was the thought I had at the end of the video. I'll, I have a few more thoughts, anything that you were thinking about when you were watching it. Yeah. Just watching the back up there. I think they just showed more representations of like, you know, how out of place almost it looks in other parts of mm -hmm. the world like you know the guy they showed the guy who was somewhere in asia and you know he's like Greece in his hair back and like his leather like almost looked like he like belonged in greece like the greece yeah. movie right and it just like looked like so culturally different or like santa claus like this big like fat white guy sitting there like you know hanging out with like these african kids again right it's just like not culturally part of like what how their culture was originally before American influence, right? right? So it's just like seeing, you don't think, you know these things are happening in the world, but seeing a visual representation of it in front of you, you're almost like, yeah, that kind of looks out of place. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, for me, I think a part of that was the they focus seemingly on the corporate influence. Mm. So they talked a lot about brands. Yep. Of American brands. Wonder Bra. Yeah. And so not so much a cultural influence. Of course, the corporations are going to influence culture, especially in the, the United States. We see that pretty, um, you know, uh, pretty much at the forefront of, of everything. Corporations are making the decisions. And I tend to argue that corporations are, you know, lobbying and pulling the strings even on a government level. Yeah. So, um, but it's interesting that they focused on that. They weren't like saying the people of America were problematic or even like religion or anything yeah. like that. It was the idea that corporations are what are, you know, creating this dynamic of America, so yeah, to speak. Well, even like the Star Trek, right? Like they had the Star Trek pinball machine there on the moon that they were all playing with that came in with like more of that electronic sound well that was a cool play right yeah. because they had the electronic sound that they implemented into the song which yeah. sounded cool but then you know alongside the arcade but then it's star trek and they're on the moon yeah so it's like all this like science <laughs> like science -y science fiction kind of yeah stuff you're too. in the stars right yeah. with star trek right yeah. so um it was cool that's what the the little subtleties that uh, i think we might have missed in some of the earlier videos yeah. with ramstein that we yeah, didn't know that they had a lot of like depth Underlying layers. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, I think uh, musically it wasn't over complex. You know, it was a pretty repetitive chorus, mm -hmm. but it stood out and I liked it. Yeah. I also uh, feel like, like the heavier riff like yeah. definitely went with the song. Yeah. It was a heavier riff. But again, uh, one thing that we've 
come to know like when we first did do host i was thinking like they were gonna be a really really heavy in your face kind of group yeah you know because they're doing the the pyrotechnics and all this other stuff so it's like they're musically i was expecting them to be very heavy but they're not like till's vocal is not a heavy vocal like of course he you know it's a powerful vocal in, in some sense but it's not something that's like the sound is really really a heavy strong heavy metal sound yeah right yeah. it's it's metal for sure but mm-hmm. they'll add this electronica and this other stuff yeah. in there too There's so a cool, a cool fusion of elements in there. yeah so that that i wasn't expecting that when we first did our, our no, initial reaction i thought it was going to be a lot more of just like head banging yeah heavy, but yeah. but i do like the melodic approach that they take yeah, with it too. alongside the heavier riffs so that was cool i mean i want to do more ramstein as i said yeah. in the beginning of the video they never let us down to no, keep us entertained like, i love their videos like just the creativity and the production quality on their videos are yeah. So let us know any insights on this one that we might have missed. We always appreciate your comments, guys. Yeah. You've really uh, helped us learn about Ramstein and and some of the songs that they've produced. It's been really uh, helpful with all the comments you've dropped. So keep doing that on this one. Hit the like button if you enjoyed our reaction. Make sure you subscribe if this is your first time coming to the channel. We plan on doing Ramstein yes. in the future. We're not going to do it every single day or maybe every even every week, but we'll definitely be keeping up with it in the future. More to come. And we also do um, comedy, sports, and history as well. So uh, lots of different content. Drop two videos every day. So hopefully we see you on our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.